Great news for those that live most of their life on Canva, creating content after content to build an online presence. Did you know that you can schedule some of those amazing designs to your social media accounts, such as Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and even Pinterest? Now, well, today I'm going to exactly show you how to schedule social media posts using Canva, the popular graphic design platform. And with Canva scheduling feature, you can save time and ensure that your content is posted consistently across your social media channels. So let's dive right in. But first and foremost, of course, you want to log into your Canva account and then you want to create the design. If you already have a design up, just open up that design. But I'm going to show you from scratch. So I'm going to click on create a design. So this design is going to be for Twitter, um, but it's actually going to go across my social media. So I'm also going to um, put it onto Instagram and possibly Facebook. So I'm going to focus, make sure the dimensions is Instagram friendly. So I'm going to click on here. So I clicked on create a design. Now I'm going to click on Instagram post. So it's going to open up a new screen. I'm going to create my design. So this particular one is promoting one of my freebies. So I want to create this. Um, so I've already got the graphic for it. So all you're gonna do is create your design right here. So for me to create my design, I'm actually just gonna upload. So you're just gonna do yours. You can fast forward this if you want, but I'm gonna upload an image of my actual um, freebie. show you that so I've got my image in there and I've just got some custom branding when it comes to my brand and I'm also going to use some elements as well from Canva so this is just so that you can see that there's this this free download so I'm going to create this just really quick and easy so that's my design and what I also want to do is gift this design a title because with Canva if you don't create your title sometimes it's hard to find but also helps when you're posting your content so this is my um profile checklist so I'm going to give that so now that's saved so let's say I'm happy with that and I'm ready to go and um schedule this on let's say I want to do Twitter today. So all I'm going to do now that I've created my design and I'm happy with it, you can see where it says towards the right hand side, you've got share. So you want to click on share. And then what you'll see if you scroll down and just move my face from here, you can see remember, this will be available on Canva Pro. So if you're on the free account, again, I'd recommend you um, signing up for the pro account or even just trying that 30 day of Canva. And then what all you're going to do is click on schedule. And then you want to find the date. So I'm actually going to post one. Let's say it's going to be Wednesday, the 3rd of May. So you click and you put down the date and then you also state your time. So you do all kind of your scheduling um, key information, date and time, first and foremost. So I'm just going to pick random time. Then you click next. And this is where you then select your channel. So if you haven't already connected your channels, it will prompt you to do so but you'll see here I have a few of my channels already prompted or connected or you know so you want to do that first but it's really simple so once you click on there then you can select your channels what I'd recommend whilst you do this on desktop try to be logged in into your social media channels and that way it makes it so much more easier for it to um, authorize the process so let's say I want to um, make sure that this goes out onto my Twitter account so I'm going to click on my Twitter account which has already been um, connected and then where it says what's happening, this will be where the description would be and that you would normally do on any scheduling account. So let's I'm going to put this quickly in. So I'm just going to use one um, hashtag, but I'll probably do more. I'll add more to this, but as this tutorial, I just want to kind of show you. So now that I've created my image, I now put a description in. I put a hashtag here or, here or there. If I wanted to put emojis, I can as well. But I'm really happy with that. And then once you've done that, you check everything for spell check, has all the information that you want in there. You click schedule. And now it prepares your design. So it's telling you preparing it. 
And what I love about this is that if I wanted to then use the same design now to go to send, you know, schedule on Instagram or Facebook, I can, where it says make a copy. So if you are only doing a one-off, you know, I don't need to make a copy and do it again and share it elsewhere. You just click, click content planner and you can see um, it on your calendar, make sure that it's in the right date, um, in the right area. But if you want to use this design again, you can make a copy. So it literally makes a copy of that design. And just be aware when it makes a copy, the title says copy of. So all I'm going to do, just so that doesn't confuse, I'm going to name this one Facebook. So that way I know this is where I'm going to schedule on Facebook. So again, all you're then going to do is click share. So if you're going to schedule it on a new one, click scheduler. So again, if I wanted to post, um, let's say I do this on the Thursday um, and change your time. I click next and then click and select channel. And I'm going to find my Facebook account. So it's really, really that simple. And um, and that's how um, you can schedule to your social media platforms and even make a copy so that you can schedule to multiple social media platforms. And again, if I went through that process, all that would happen is I'll select the channel and again do my description you have to repeat that process so if you're going to use similar descriptions from your previous post let's say the one on twitter i would have copied that um, and then pasted in knowing that i'm also going to schedule the same post on a different platform so that's exactly how you do it so what i also, also wanted to show you is because obviously let's say we've scheduled our post i want to show you where it will sit so if you don't click on the content planner from the previous screen you will find your um, scheduled post in the app section. So if you go into the left-hand side on your main dashboard, you click where it, it says apps, and then you'll see content planner straight away at the top, recommended. If you don't scroll down, it might be at the top for me because I'm always using it. And then all you're going to do is find exactly where the post is. Bear in mind, sometimes Canva, when it comes to the calendar, they can set you back quite a few months. So, so you need to make sure that you select the right month. And then you can see right here, there it is, the scheduled post. And what I love about this, it, if you are scheduling the same post, you can tell which platform, which channel that it's going to go towards because it will have the icon right beside it. So now I know on May 3rd, Twitter is going to get my scheduled content that I just created. And that's it. You successfully scheduled a social media post using Canva. And by utilizing this feature, you can maintain a consistent posting schedule, plan your content ahead of time and streamline your social media marketing efforts. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more design tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.